It's dead quiet in Europe's shopping streets, while chaos breaks out in Bangladesh. What happened? One month earlier, it's business as usual. European textile companies like CNA, H&M, Zara or Tallywale order clothes. Factories in Bangladesh buy raw materials for the production, and workers like Kulsum sew the ordered goods. Then COVID-19 spreads through Europe. The textile companies have to close their shops and sales drop dramatically. As a consequence, they cancel orders or put them on hold. In Bangladesh alone, orders worth more than 3 billion US dollars are affected. While employees in Europe are supported by the state and partly receive their wages, Kulsum fears for her existence. Poor people die on the wish of the Almighty. If I do not go to work, I will have to die sitting at home. The textile companies argue with escape clause and refuse to pay their orders. Because a higher force has made it impossible to sell clothes, they do not have to honor their contracts. However, according to experts, it's not clear whether this is legal. A court has to decide. But that will probably never happen. The factory owners in Bangladesh are afraid to take the case to court. Whoever sues the textile companies could lose orders in the future. The competition is fierce, and European brands could switch to other factories or even other countries. Without the money from the textile companies, Bangladeshi factory owners can't pay wages. Rubana Haq, president of the Bangladeshi Textile Association. Up to a half a million to a million workers can easily be impacted. Not all textile companies are equally responsible. Some have resumed most of their cancelled orders, some have postponed them, and others still refuse to meet their obligations. More information on how the companies acted and the full research can be found at reflect.ch slash Bangladesh. <laughs>